In this video, you will learn about the Northern Plain of India, the most favorable place to live in. So much so that over 40% of the total population of the country lives here. But why? Because it has flat and leveled land with an adequate water supply and suitable climate. Moreover, the soil is very fertile and the area is agriculturally productive. Have you ever thought what made the northern plain so fertile? If you want to know the answer, then must watch the full video. The northern plain has been formed by the interplay of the three major river systems, namely the Indus, the Ganga and the Brahmaputra along with their tributaries. These rivers flow down the slopes of mountains. While coming down, they erode the mountains or you can say they remove the upper layer of the mountains. These eroded materials are carried forward by the rivers. Then they deposit their load consisting of very fine sand and silt in their valleys. These fine deposited materials are called alluvium, which is very fertile soil. Due to the deposition of alluvial soil for millions of years at the foothills of Himalayas, this fertile plain has been formed. Hope this is clear to you. You would be amazed to know that this plain spread over an area of 7 lakh square kilometers. It is about 2400 kilometers long and the width is 240 kilometers to 320 kilometers. Do you know the rivers coming from the northern mountains form river in Ireland? You must be wondering, what is a river in Ireland? River in Ireland is an island within a river. It is formed because of the deposition of mud and rocks in the river bed. Most of the deposition takes place in the lower course of the river, when the river flows through the gentle slope. Due to the gentle slope, the speed of the river decreases, which causes more deposition. As a result, an island is formed in the river called a river in island. Do you know the world's largest inhabited river in island is in India and its name is Majuni. It has been formed by the Brahmaputra river. The rivers in their lower course also break into many small streams or channels due to the deposition of sediments. These channels are known as distributaries. The vast area of the northern Indian plain has been classified into three sections. These are known as the Punjab plain, the Ganga plain and the Brahmaputra plain. I know you must be wondering, how are they different from each other? They are different in their formations and locations. Let me tell you about each one of them in detail. The first part is the Punjab plain, which is located in the western part of the northern plain. It has been formed by the river Indus and its tributaries. The larger part of this plain lies in Pakistan. The Indus and its tributaries, namely the Jhelum, the Chenab, the Ravi, the Bias, and the Satluj originate in the Himalayas. This section of the plain is dominated by the Doabs. What is Doab? Doab is made up of two words. Do meaning two and Ab meaning water. Thus it can be described as a land between two converging rivers. Similarly, Punjab. It is also made up of two words, Panj meaning five and Ab meaning water. 
therefore this is the land where five rivers converge can you tell me the name of these five rivers yes you are right they are the jhelum the chenab the ravi the bias and the satluj now let us know about the ganga plain the river ganga along with its tributaries form the ganga plain it extends between the ghagra and tista rivers it is spread over the states of north india haryana delhi up bihar partly jharkhand and west bengal to its east now let us visit the brahmaputra plain it has been formed by the brahmaputra river and its tributaries it is spread over the state of assam so children i hope all these are clear to you let us end today's class here in the next video we will continue with the classification of northern plain on the basis of relief features do like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more such interesting videos thank you everyone